I've always worked for um, that I put on this massive pedestal was at my hands. Um, success, money, fame, popularity, all that stuff was right in front of my eyes. And quickly in my rookie year, um, I, I started asking myself questions. If I have everything I've ever wanted, why do I just feel so incomplete and so empty? And I uh, really challenged myself. I was fortunate to have some people brought into my life as teammates that started to ask me some intriguing questions. And um, I had a teammate ask me one day, um, hey, if you died today, you know, would you go to heaven? Scale of one to 10. And I was, of course, I was like, I'm a seven. I hold the door for people. I say, hi, I'm a nice person. He started laughing. <laughs> That's when my transformation started. And um, through a lot of truly, um, I'm kind of like a, uh, I like to be cerebral, so the historicity aspect of faith, I started to study a little bit more, and long story short, <clears throat> I got saved on September 23rd, 2006, I became a Christian then, and, um, all those things that I had in my life that were placed at such a paramount, um, it's not that they became um, less important to me as far as my, my football career and my work ethic and that, but so many other things became more important. And literally that night, my life changed completely. Um, I started living in a, in a completely different way, for a different way, and it's, it's been a very much a journey ever since. Um, the thing that I want to share with you guys is, in the culture that we live in, especially when it comes to sports, you so often see um, when a player makes a great play, big win, it's a huge moment, um, you, you very much say, I, I want to give glory to God, I want to thank God for that opportunity, and I completely believe in that, and I think it's awesome, but what we don't often see in our society is when things don't go your way, when you don't make the play you want to make, to have the success you want to have, you don't have that one moment that you're looking for, there's still athletes who still go, I want to give God glory, I want to thank Him for the opportunity, and... <clears throat> My hope is to paint an outside-in picture for you guys of our football team. Uh, I start with telling you guys that football, the, the men who are Christians on this football team, football is, is extremely important. It's a huge sacrifice for us. We work very hard at it. It's important. Uh, we sacrifice our bodies, our time with our families. So it's not, I don't want to express that it's not important to us. When things, when you have a training camp that we have, you work as hard as we are, you meet as a Bible study that we do, and we're going through this time period of training camp and the season starts and you go 0 and 1, 0 and 2, 0 and 3, 0 and 4. You start to take a step back and go, God, what's going on? We're doing everything we can. Uh, we're, you're, you're calling us to do what we're doing. We're having Bible studies. We're memorizing scripture. We're challenging each other spiritually and we can't have any success. And you start asking yourself, well, where's my reward? And then I think a scripture that I know I've clung to and I know the Christians on our team has clung to, have clung to is, you know, John 16, 33, when he says, in this world, you're going to have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome this world. And I'm talking about in our little football world, football is very important, like I said. So in that world, we're having tons of trouble, but it's been awesome to take a step back and watch the Christians on our team continue to give it to God, continue to um, stay grounded in God, continue to have faith. It's been awesome. And I've been a part of places, I've seen places, I've heard of places that don't have the Christian men and or leaders on their team that we do. And although today didn't go our way, we've been very fortunate to rally our season and have a lot of good moments. And I think a big part of that is because we've been able to have the Christian leaders on our team stay grounded in God. And it was important to us to not only go through the difficult times and continue to be usable for God, but continue to challenge ourselves to not only on Sundays do what God had called us to do, but on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday. How are we going home and serving our wives and our children? How are we going home and serving um, our communities? How were we at practice? Were we uplifting to our teammates? And my, my encouragement and my hope is that you guys get to see that picture, that that's been the case for this football team, and that's been the case for the, the Christian men on our team. It's things haven't 
haven't been the way we wanted them, and it's been very easy, or it would have been very easy for us to say, everything around us was telling us, man, this God of yours isn't getting anything done for you. And, it, and everything, and people mocking us and doubting us and telling us, this isn't working well for you guys. But it's been awesome. It, it's, it's been a blessing to take a step back and watch. And just watch the Christians on our team stay grounded in their faith, and not only use the difficult time um, to grow their own faith, but to challenge each other. We've started to challenge each other with more memory, uh, scripture memory, more accountability, um, more going out into the community, more spending time in fellowship. And it's it's been a really awesome experience. It's not something that um, the, the outside gets to see because of the struggle. Um, and that's my encouragement to you guys is hopefully... Um, People have been able to watch our football team and, and really watch the Christians on our football team and say there's something different about those guys and the only difference is it's Jesus. And it's been it's it's been an encouragement for me as a, as a player to be around guys, and you're going to get to hear one, uh, to be around guys who, who are doing that no matter what the circumstances were. And that would be an encouragement to you guys um, is, is to take that opportunity. So... I want to thank you guys again for, for coming out and allowing us to, to speak and allowing me to speak to you guys. And um, I'll pass it over to Joe.